All right, what is up, guys? We are back with The Promised Neverland, Chapter 48, um, The Two Worlds. Last chapter, we got to know, um, like we got, like, a bunch of, like, major revelations about the world that, like, we're living in right now, just finding out that we basically have the humans living on one side and the demons living on the other side of this world, and Emma and Ray and the rest of the kids are all on the demon side, but they're, they're still, like, really hopeful because they know now that at least there is a place that they can go to that is safe from demons that they will be safe um so that was like hope for them um but yeah let's see i'm like where where do we go from now you know what i mean um so yeah let's go uh go to 0632 the pursuers found me what's this a message for comrades carved by 81194 surely what's 0632 i don't know I feel like they would, they should be able to, it should click in their mind pretty fast if that's a coordinate, right? Has to. Um, however, this proves that as we su suspected, the others are alive and no corpses were found. It uh, beggars belief, but it may well be that all of them survive, albeit where, just where. Where could they be hiding in a forest like this one? Uh, be at ease. They won't find us down here. I myself built this path by connecting tunnels left behind by dead vampire trees. Oh yeah, I was about to say, when I saw the word vampire, I was like, there's vampires in this world? <laughs> um, it's a true maze. Only I and Musica can find the exit. Uh, I'd be lost, actually. They form the plantation. They, uh, they from the plantations are very familiar with the forest. We could just stay in these tunnels until we clear the area. Alright. Uh, oh, look, water anemones. Wow, you're already getting good with this. Uh, Musica, do you live with your friends in this forest? Not live, no, we are just passing through. We travel through various lands, never stopping anywhere. Why? Hmm, why indeed? So do they actually have a home that they go to? Are they, or are they literally just like she said, just like nomads traveling from place to place? Like, do they actually have a place to return to or not? Um, a promise, a contract between humans and demons. One of Minerva's Morse code messages was the word promise, right? So that's what it was all about. Maybe, but some Jews said we are on earth, but not in the human world. What does that even mean? The world was split. We were so convinced that something happened 30 years ago to make the world like this, but it's been this way for a thousand years. There's never been human land here, no human countries, no cities. 1,000 years ago, they made a promise and split the world into two, the world, the human world and the demon world. Um, Sung Zhao said things like the pathway was shut down, the door was closed. Sounds like there were places they could go in, but the pa go in the past but cannot anymore. If that's true, we live in the world promised to the demons and we've been cut apart. And that's also something they have to deal with too, is that like the pathways to the the human side of the world have also been like shut down. So like how are they going to get across, right? Um, we thought we lived in the world we read about in our books, but turns out we are in another place altogether. That's why our final goal is to escape from this world itself. And Minerva is someone who probably knows how to do that. That's what we think, yes. All right, so we will find Minerva and ask him how to cross to the other world. Then we'll have two years to make plans and get ready. We go back for Phil and the others and escape all together to the human world. That's why we are going to B0632. There is a place safe from the demons. There's hope after all. Also, that message that Ray wrote on the tree, it only said 06. 32 right like he didn't put the b so i mean that's really smart on his part he didn't put like the full coordinates on the tree as well so uh anyway but i wonder if it will be that easy right to start with he said we cannot cross over the paths were closed as part of the promise and we want to get quite a good number of people through even if minerva knows some way it probably won't be simple no one's saying it will Crossing between worlds is probably very difficult, yes, and before even that, we still have to figure out how to survive in this demon's world. Yeah, and not to mention, you guys are probably going to run into, like, a bunch more demons before you actually get to, like, 
the the point where the two worlds like cross over. Um, however, we now have a reason to hope. We escaped right into more trouble, but it's not all dark. We found a way forward. I'm not letting any of us die. We all live in peace again, happy together. Now that we know what's our goal, I'll do anything. Even if it seems impossible, I'll force it through. I don't care how, how hard or painful it gets. Um, let's go, everyone, to a world without demons. Our first mission is to reach BO632 and meet with Minerva. Everything seems way too happy right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, by the way, Emma, do you mind if I ask you one little thing? It's something I've been itching to tell you since yesterday. If you're not feeling well, will you please tell us? Gilda? Got it? You can't just endure the pain all alone until you pass out. Uh, pass out? You're forbidden. Promise? Uh, yes. Um, you never take care of yourself properly, and what's this about cutting your own ear? You didn't mention that in the plan. It's good that you're such a brave girl, but if you die, it's all over. Don't overdo it. I'm sorry, but, but nothing. Emma's being scolded? Very good, Gilda. You tell her. Ray, too. What? I heard you wanted to be the bait and fight that lizard demon alone. Oh, and challenge the farm demons to, to a rum? Do you... Do you think that's just fine? It's not. You take your eyes off Ray for a second, he's already getting himself killed. What? Again, Ray? Uh, now wait right there. I wasn't. Oh yeah, let's ask Sun Zhao. His chances of surviving that situation were 0%. See? <laughs> I won't die. I won't die, so... Right, I, I, I really like this. It's just like... It feels like it's been a while since we've had something like this, you know? Just like... Everybody chilled and relaxed and just like having fun and stuff like that. It definitely feels like we haven't had like a moment like this in a long time. Like everything has just been so tense. Like the moment they left the plantation, everything has been so tense. So like to have just a moment like this, just like to relax and just have fun and be kids again. Like it's, it's welcome. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I was so worried. You two care a lot about us, right? It's like that. It's this time. It's us who got this. Got super worried about you. It's true. Don and Gilda were almost crying. If you need help, say it. If you're in pain, say it. Don't just try to do it all alone. We are brave too, you know. We'll find a way through anything. If you're in danger, think of your own safety first, please. I mean, that's not the type of people they are, man. They. Emma and Ray are constantly thinking about, like, the rest of the kids. Like, Ray wasn't like that at first, but now he is, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Like, they're asking for them to take care of themselves, but, like, that's not Emma, man. She's constantly putting, like, the other kids before herself. Um, anyway, we are very happy that you're going so far for our sake, but in the same way, you two are our precious family, you know? Damn. Damn. And her eyes in that panel, man. So please, I got it. Thank you, everyone. Uh, they are good kids. That they are. Um, whoa, speaking in like demon language? Then why didn't you tell them? What do you mean? The dangers these children face. If they try to break the promise, they'll make an enemy of... Of who? Yeah, but I've no need to. I've no need to. They'll know soon enough besides. Was their enemy from the very start. Right in their moment of peace, a shadow. Interesting. Huh. So yeah, weird that Sung Zhao would like leave out a piece of information. Um, and that Musica would have to like. Just I, I find it weird that she would have to resort to like talking in, in their like native tongue to like you, you know you know what I mean like to keep it secret you know what I mean like she didn't want to say it in front of the kids I mean probably not to like destroy their hope because maybe this guy or girl that they're talking about is like this like powerful or whatever and like she didn't want to like destroy their their hope and you know just how how they're feeling in this moment. So maybe that's why she's talking in, in their, like, demon language. Um, but yeah, interesting. But yeah, it seemed like Ray definitely noticed that whatever they were saying. Um, 
Yeah, Ray seemed to have noticed that. Um, but I'm trying, like, all right, she said specifically that they would be breaking the promise, but are they are they actually breaking any promise if they just cross over to the human world? You know what I mean? Like, they're just trying to get out of the demon world and go into you know the human. Is that really breaking the breaking the promise or? I could see um, breaking breaking the promise as in them escaping the plantation. Like maybe that is some that's like breaking the a part of the the, the pact. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe that's what she means. Um, but them just crossing over to the human world, I don't see like how that would be uh, breaking the whole pact between the demons and the humans. The only way breaking the promise to me, I'm thinking is them escaping the plantation in the first place. It's probably breaking some part of the pact. Um, but yeah, so they're going to apparently piss off some higher demon, probably, um, even higher than grandma too. So yeah, I don't know. Really interesting. Um, I wish we got to see what this person's name is. I really wish we did. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it for the chapter, man. Um, yeah, I mean, not, not really much else to say about that. Um, really curious to find out who they're talking about, man. And, like, I wonder if we're going to get to see this person soon. Probably not, but still interesting nonetheless. Um... And that apparently this guy, whatever he is, was the enemy from the very start. So, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just a lot of questions, but I, I like it. Like, just keep, you know, I, I still want to be kept, like, like in the unknown. You, wanna, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have all the answers. So, like, just the fact that there's still, like, we got, like, so many revelations last chapter, but there's still a lot of things that we don't know is, like, really, really interesting to me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.